I'm Karu from the Academy SL Kids. Today we are going to start a new series, The Kids Teach Science. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to teach you about carbohydrate. Do you know what is a carbohydrate? Carbohydrate is a biomolecule which helps to build up the living body and it is the most abundant organic compound on the earth. And the composition is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen to oxygen ratio is 2 is to 1. Carbohydrate can be divided into three as monosaccharide, disaccharide and polysaccharide. The composition of all those three are same. So, what is the difference? The difference is the structure. So, I'm going to move for the first type of carbohydrate that is monosaccharide. Mono means one. That is the structural unit of carbohydrate and it is normally called as simple sugar. This monosaccharide can be divided into three as glucose, fructose and galactose. Glucose. Glucose are rich in bee honey and in ripened fruits and the end product during hydrolysis of starch is glucose. Not only that, the energy is released during the breakdown of glucose in cellular respiration. The second type, fructose. Fructose are rich in ripened fruits, in bee honey and the vegetables like pumpkin and carrot. This sugar type is normally called as fruit sugar and this is the sweetest sugar. And I'm going to move for the third part. The third part is galactose. Galactose are rich in milk products and they are no have sweet taste and uh, the end product during hydrolysis of lactose is galactose. So I'm going to move for the second type of carbohydrate that is disaccharide. Di means two. So this is made by combining a monosaccharide molecule plus a monosaccharide molecule after removing a water molecule. This is soluble in water, can be converted to crystals and these disaccharides also can be divided into three. They are maltose, sucrose and lactose. Maltose is made by combining a glucose molecule plus a glucose molecule and uh, it is present in germinating seeds and it is the intermediate product during the hydrolysis of starch. The second type sucrose. Sucrose is made by combining a glucose molecule plus a fructose molecule and it is present in sugar cane, white and brown sugar and the fallen sap of the trees. And the third type. Third type is lactose. Lactose is made by combining a glucose molecule plus a galactose molecule. This is very special because these have no sweet taste and this is the only sugar that doesn't contain in plants. And this is only containing human milk and cow milk. The percentage of containing uh, lactose in human milk is 6 is to 7%. So I'm going to move for the third and the last type of carbohydrate that is polysaccharide. Poly means large number of. So this is made by combining large number of monosaccharide molecules. And the features of polysaccharide is differ from other two types. There are doesn't soluble in water, cannot be converted into crystals. This polysaccharide also can be divided into three as cellulose, starch and glycogen. Cellulose are present in plant cell wall and in plant fibers. This cellulose doesn't digest in human digestive system but it is helped for the constipations. And the second type that is the starch. The starch are present in yams and jag etc. It is the type of carbohydrate that is stored in plants and the last type is glycogen. Glycogen is present in animal liver and it is present in animal muscle. This is the type of carbohydrate that is stored in animal body. So guys, we are done. This is all about carbohydrate. Now it's your time to study about carbohydrate. So join our community on Facebook, the Academy SL Kids. So you can share your ideas, comments and thoughts on our Facebook page. And let's get connected. So I think you enjoy the video. Subscribe, like and share with your friends. Bye.